Welcome back guys to part two of trying to make a homemade hook out of a pop top. In part one you saw I had a little picture of one I found online. I cut it up. I went out and tried to fish with it. No luck. I saw instantly once I got out there and tried to fish with it there were flaws with it. I think it will work but I'm going to try to make my own hook. See how that turns out. Let's see what happens. My own design. I'm going to start out like I did before getting rid of all that. Mm. Let's throw this in the barrel. Burning a stump right next to my house. So I'm having to stay right here and babysit it. So, I definitely need a thinner hook. I like the cut there. I like how we did that earlier. And this has got, that still has to go. If I come up like this, see, I want that to go. But it's got to be thinner. So I'm going to try to cut this thinner. I'm going to try to split that in half. And if it messes up, it messes up. Uh, got more. Thinner, thinner, thinner. Now we're talking. Now that's better. I'm gonna do another one. There's two. Strong enough. Nope. Yeah, that one didn't work. Alright, I'm this far into this one. I don't really have anywhere to tie the line to, but I can't help that. It broke off. I'm tie the line right there like I did. Maybe it won't break. But that is way sharper and thinner than the others. Alright, let's go back to this one. See if we can give fish a little bit more room. Get their mouth in there. My tie goes there. Oh, I like this one way better than the other one too. That's a good sharp hook right there. Get them, get them. They're going down in the earthworms. They're trying to escape. Hey, this one's an earthworm. Get them, get them. Oh, no. Earthworm, stop. You shouldn't have done that. He's all... What's a uh, slug? Well, you just buried an earthworm. That was great. Great job. 
All right, guys, made it out here with the hooks I made. I did bring the pliers this time, but I think I'm gonna try this one first. All right, guys, got a sharper point this time. Let's see if it feed on there, thread on there a little better. Ah, uh, it just fell off. That worm's gonna get stolen. Didn't stay on this one that good. Don't shoot in the water. I'm not scared of fish. No. I'm not going to shoot in the water until you get a bite or get a bite and you reel it in, okay? Okay. Getting him. There we go. Ah! I, uh, I, I failed him. That's way better than yesterday. I tried to shoot him. Yesterday I went through a hundred. Uh -uh, don't shoot right there. Yesterday I went through a hundred bites before I felt a fish. At least this time I felt a fish. All right, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, let's uh, put another worm on. All right, so I'm having a hard time getting the worm to stay on this hook, so I'm gonna change hooks. Oh, right, we're gonna try this hook. All right, so this one definitely threads easier. It's like he's trying to take himself off though. All right, let's see how it goes. Right. See if this works. Get a bite and I'll snatch him in the boat. First time we've seen one out of the water. From here? I didn't know he was on there. Give me a worm. I'll set the hook this time. Getting closer. I saw one. It's trying to hide. I might like slam it through his lip. Man, that was a close one. We we had a fish leave the water for the first time in our tab hook challenge. Look if I would have set the hook on that one, we might have got him. Get in the boat. Should we count that? No. Oh, I had a paddle in my hand. I had him. I had him. I snatched him up. He hit my arm. He came straight across the boat. Should we count that or no? No. Ah! Whoa, well, he's there. Stupid. Here we go. Update. We felt one. We've ah. got one out of the water. We slung it all the way over the boat. I had a paddle in one hand. I couldn't water. catch it. We got one out in the water, like one bit, and we got one on the water all the way over there. Right. He can still be there. That was the perfect size too, little one. We're not after a big one. The big one will not stay on. We need a big one. I mean, a, a little one. Dang, I'd count that as a success, but I want to hold him. Man, bites are getting few and far between, aren't they? You have to do it far. Mm -hmm. If you get it close, the fish might see the boat. I know it. 
Oh, there's a bike. In the, oh man. There's a bite. All right. I need him to take it under. He was trying to take it. He was trying to take it. Got off? Got a little bit left. Go back to the spot where he, where, where he got a bite. Or he might come there. <sighs> Do what, Judson? Why do you have the camera? This was our best bet. This hook right here. We've had one hit me in the hand and go out. We've had one fly over the boat. I hit your shoulder. Hit my shoulder. Now we need. To... Oh! That was that was like one second, Daddy. It was one second. That was kind of cool, wasn't that, Daddy? Mm-hmm. But you couldn't have caught him. But we have to go home anyways, Daddy. Yes, sir. We have to go home now. <gasps> All right, guys, I don't know if to call it a success or for failure, but we, uh, with the hooks I made, we, uh, we felt more fish today on them. That's good. With the pop top hooks, uh, we got a couple out of the water. We got one that, uh, flew over the boat. So I guess I could call that one a success. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, probably didn't because I didn't say the goals. Probably why we didn't catch one this video. One. The goal was one. The goal is always one. All right, well, we'll keep on trying. Till next time, guys.